Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about acute fatty liver in pregnancy, also called spontaneous fatty liver of pregnancy. It is a rare life-threatening complication of pregnancy that causes liver dysfunction and eventually liver failure. In acute fatty liver of pregnancy, the total fat amount in the liver is typically over 5% of its total weight. The incidence of acute fatty liver in pregnancy is estimated to be between 1 in 7,000 and 1 in 16,000 pregnancies. What is the pathophysiology? Acute fatty liver of pregnancy is caused by disruption of beta oxidation in the mitochondria of hepatocytes leading to the accumulation of lipids in the cells. The exact pathophysiological mechanism is not fully understood. It is known that fetal defects in the enzyme long-chain 3-hydroxyacyl-CoA dehydrogenase lead to a kind of flooding of the maternal organism with fatty acids or their metabolites. What are risk factors for acute fatty liver in pregnancy? Having a family history of acute fatty liver in pregnancy or having a history of HELP syndrome. Also obesity, diabetes, multiple pregnancies, preeclampsia and intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy are risk factors. What are symptoms of acute fatty liver of pregnancy? It typically manifests itself in the third trimester of pregnancy, so averagely in the 35th week of gestation, and initially manifests itself with non-specific symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, headache, fatigue and abdominal pain. In the further course, jaundice and hepatic encephalopathy can occur. In severe cases, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney failure and in the worst case coma and death can occur. How can we diagnose acute fatty liver of pregnancy? We can do different laboratory examinations. The laboratory findings typically show abnormalities in the blood count, such as leukocytosis and thrombocytopenia, a mild to moderate increase in transaminases, increased bilirubin, hypoglycemia, so a low blood sugar, and a decreased albumin. Hepatitis serology is usually negative. We can also do different imaging tests. Liver steatosis, can be detected by imaging techniques, such as ultrasound, CT and MRI. Ultrasound shows increased echogenicity as well as portal hypertension. A differential diagnosis to keep in mind for acute fatty liver of pregnancy is the HELP syndrome. Viral hepatitis and especially if the patient presents with a positive travel history or cholecystitis. What is the treatment of acute fatty liver in pregnancy? The causal treatment is a rapid delivery, typically by cesarean section, to prevent acute liver failure in the mother. Because an enzyme defect in the child can be the cause of the mother's liver failure, the newborn should be monitored and treated if any abnormalities are present. Acute fatty liver in pregnancy can be life-threatening for both the mother and the baby and the symptoms are often non-specific and can be mistaken for other conditions such as morning sickness or gastroenteritis. So early diagnosis and treatment are essential to improve the outcome for both the mother and the baby. What is the prognosis of acute fatty liver disease in pregnancy? The prognosis is generally good if the condition is diagnosed and treated early. Is there any prevention? There is no known way to prevent acute fatty liver in pregnancy. 
women with risk factors, such as a family history of acute fatty liver in pregnancy or a history of HELP syndrome, may be monitored more closely during pregnancy. To reduce the risk, a woman can maintain a healthy weight and eat a healthy diet and exercise regularly. It is also advised to limit the alcohol intake before getting pregnant and to get regular prenatal care. That's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.